Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Here we are again on a Footies Friday, guys, but it's the last of the Footies Fridays because we've got more Footies cards coming today, but it's team number five and the last team before this promo looks like it's going to be coming to an end. Also, we have hopes of more 99 rated footies inside of SPCs like the Mia Ham or even players as good as Ginola that we had last Friday. But we do have a very interesting leak in that department. We'll cover that and all what else to expect today on this game and also look at EA's latest response to the glitched icon player picks from last Sunday because they just had a bit of words to say on that. So it's the last Friday of footies. What could EA have up their sleeve elsewhere? We'll discuss it all in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Now let's go over the Thursday content really quick. The last day of footies week number four, I guess. It was another day of objectives and XP in this section with the new weekly objectives being released. So you've got almost 3000 XP inside of there. And we had the return of Foot Champions Weekend League Objectives. Trying to find it. There it is. The Foot Champions play here gives us the missing pop and Cordoba. Those cards finally were released back into the game. I guess they were just released a week too early last week when they came into concepts. But here they finally are. We know the cards. We've seen them on Footbin. The pop doesn't really look like that great of a reward as playing all these games for Foot Champs would entail. Same thing with the Cordoba. I Really the best way to say this is I don't think the Cordoba or the Pop make a lot of people want to go grind Foot Champs, to be honest, right? But the way that I look at this is, if you are playing Foot Champs already, then you might as well put seven footies players in your team because that is the requirement here. You don't even have to have a full squad of footies. It is only seven footies players in a side to get the win five and the win 10 done. Now, for the play 30 and all the other objectives in the play section of this, all you have to do is play the game in the Champions game mode. So, qualifier games count and the weekend games count so you can technically although this is a two-week objective you could get it done this weekend if you play all 10 games of qualies and then all 20 games of weekend league you could get the play 30 done and then if you win 10 of those weekend league games you could get all of the packs and pop so it's just a it's a decent objective i like having the extra packs to be honest when you're playing weekend league you have an 83 times 20 in here you've got an 84 10 and an 86 double and then of course pop at the end so it's decent it's there it's not that crazy but it is at least a bonus to play the weekend league and get those extra packs we also had the brand new daily login which really isn't brand new it's the same daily login that we have had now for the same number of weeks same 83 times 2 and same 84 times 10 as the group reward so uh yeah i don't know i like that footies objective just because it's only seven footies cards we've been asking for a footies only team requirement and maybe there's more coming today we'll talk about that a little bit later now to sbc's we go where it was a pretty quiet day yesterday as well we had marquee matchups as you would expect but this time it wasn't throwback marquee matchups because we have games upcoming and we have actual football coming back this weekend which is very very exciting so that is what this marquee matchups is here for it's a rare player's pack so if you want to get that done, go ahead and get that done. And we had yesterday a really surprising player SBC. Surprising in the fact that I don't think anybody expected a women's American goalkeeper to be dropped in the SBC section. Now, I actually ended up doing the SBC just for fun because it was a USA goalkeeper. And we've been asking, at least a lot of us USA folk have been asking for a goalkeeper. Now, it doesn't make sense because... There was another U.S. women's goalkeeper who just performed very well in the Olympic run for the women, but this that's neither here nor there. Five-star, five-star, 97-rated Casey Murphy card, which I think for most people isn't that interesting and uh, not a really great SBC for most on this game. But that was what the content was yesterday. And of course, Rivals Rewards as well, which I heard, crazily enough, a lot of people getting crazy pulls. I know not everybody, but a lot of people getting crazy pulls yesterday saying that in a stream from Rivals Rewards. Now, some news hot off the press is this. We're going to rope this in with the yesterday content because it just happened a few hours ago to end our Thursday into Friday. EAFC Direct Communication responded to their tweet from Sunday about the icon player pick glitch with the 91 plus pick and the 93 plus giving out the t or giving out the footies Sawa card at a very very high rate. They just responded and said players who partially completed the SBC groups will have their player items returned in game 
in the coming days. And I'm going to be honest, guys, this is unfortunate, but it is what we expected, right? It's only going to be compensation for those who were in the progress of doing the SBC at the time that it was taken away. Now, honestly, this is just the same unfortunate situation that has happened with these exact same situations in the past, right? Multiple times this year where there's been a glitched player pick, of course, the 0.7% Messi runs in a lot of our minds. Uh, but it's in times like these where when the mistake benefits the players on the game, EA kind of are saying you have to either take advantage of it or you miss out. And I don't like the precedent that that sets because that makes us feel like we have to be on and ready to see what the content is every single time at content each day because what if there's another mistake that happens? Now, I don't load into content thinking that every single day, but you know, subliminally, that's kind of what this promotes, if we're being honest. Um, but there's really no way that they can let people take advantage of these situations. I know for us, it's like, Oh man, just let the icon player pick be what it is. And of course, especially in the end game, that would be pretty cool if it could have been left the way that it was. But even when you think of it from EA's perspective and they're looking at this as this mistake and of course the messy mistake as well as an even bigger one, if they would have left that messy player pick there and or the sour Sawa player picks there from this last weekend, it would have created a situation where they're probably making less money. So I don't like it, but that's what's making these decisions guys is the fact that they would make less money because if let's say you're somebody who is chasing after the sawa card and you packed her from a 91 plus icon pick you wouldn't potentially go and buy fifa points from the store to go buy store packs if you had already packed her then your kind of chase was over and you got the card right well that's how EA make money, right? Is the in-game purchases. So this sort of situation is definitely impacted by their desire to make money, which I don't fault them at because they're a business. But at the same time, for a lot of us, it's like, well, they, you know, left us with a 93 plus pick and a 91 plus pick that we don't have anymore. And the way that they handle these situations definitely is not a direct benefit to us. So it just makes us feel like that we have to be on each and every day for the content to see if there is an advantage to something to take advantage of. So I, I don't love it. There's really no good outcome to the situation, except for the fact that EA really just should not make these mistakes. Hopefully these stuff, this stuff gets tested more and more in the future, but all that we know is it's probably going to happen again in the future. So if we know how EA responded to these things, we can kind of react in the future. That's why I wasn't sitting here on Sunday saying, oh, guys, we're going to get compensated. Oh, guys, they're going to give out Sawa SBC because of how this icon player pick was. No, like that's that's not how the cookie crumbles. We've learned from times like this before. So the one nice thing they did do was actually release a repeatable unlimited icon player pick, this 90 plus. So all of that you have to say. It is unfortunate that mistakes happen, and we're probably never going to move past them happening. There's always going to be mistakes, but uh, that is kind of their resolution. I know there were some of you guys in the comments that were like, Nate, I finished one SPC of that player pick, and I didn't get my fodder. Well, at least you'll get your fodder back, and that is a nice thing for those guys that had that situation there. But for the rest of us that missed the player pick, it's a bit of a bummer, but that's just kind of how it's going to be. Now, on to today, the last footies grind, right? I know that doesn't motivate us to really want to enjoy the footies grind today after talking about EA mistakes and things like that nature, right? But it is the last go around of footies today because the way we really know that is we look at footies re-release team number three, and this only has one week left remaining. I wish they had the countdown timer of how much longer these cards are in packs here, but they only have one week remaining of being in packs. And of course, on the loading screen, as you can see, I guess that's where the timer is, that Team 4 is expiring today. So that kind of gives away that Team 5 is going to be coming. We also had that pack code earlier that we looked at that also guaranteed us a Team 5, right? A footy, footy's Week 5 guarantee pack. That also kind of gives it away. So Team 4 goes away today. But the 99 Messi, the Ronaldo, Zidane, and Dino, those are still in packs. So we have one more week of footies. And as of right now, we don't have any player leaks, not a single one. Remember last week we had, uh, it was the Georgie foot guy on Twitter where we were looking through the leaks and we saw all of the players that ended up being in team number four, like Morgan, Drogba, Salah. And then of course he had the Mia Hamm and the Ginola leaks as well. We really have nothing this week, which is really interesting. At least I like it because we love the surprise. We love that aspect of it. Now there's probably going to be leaks before content today. I would not be surprised. There is one thing I want to touch on though, because I think this tweet and this graphic was rolling around Twitter a lot. And a lot of people were saying, oh my gosh, Nate, Jesus, Lucio and Lam, they are leaked. 
Now, this says upcoming content. It is a little bit of a bait. It's it's a prediction, guys. It is a prediction. Even if you look below in the tweet, he's kind of, you know, saying that it's a prediction and not saying that it is not a leak. Um, you know, it is a little bit baity because a lot of times what we're looking for on Twitter and X are the actual posts of cards that are going to be leaked. So we see pictures like this and we're like, wow, that's a leak, right? Well, it's actually not. Now, are these believable players that could be in Footy's Team 5 today? Absolutely. Like there's been so many, uh, I think I even said this last week, there's been so many evolutions for Lucio recently. It's about time that he got a footies card. Like this card was in packs re-released and had so many different Evo chains and was a crazy card after that, that a lot of people did. Now, of course it would make sense that EA would release one in packs that was a little bit better. You know, even the LOM card, his last special was the, I think it was a team of the year LOM. I think we have. Maybe there's another LOM that I'm forgetting about, but yeah, Gabriel Jesus, he hasn't had a card in a long time. I think those are all decent options for players that could be in today. You know, there's one big icon that a lot of people really want to see re-upped on this game, and that is Eusebio. Of course, we had the um, Eto SBC, which was kind of like the first icon version for him besides his base. We haven't had a special Eusebio in a long time, so he's on the short list for a whole full addition to the game today but you know we'll probably get leaks before content that's probably how it's going to be we always do i would expect it to be very similar to team one two three four right i think five will be about the same probably four or five icons a number of heroes and then also a number of like footies premium cards and footies regular cards with hopefully at least three or four 99s like hopefully at least a couple more i would have to imagine you know lucio would be one of those names guys also what i noticed is I kind of looked back last year in FIFA 23 and realized EA loves to reuse footies cards from year over year. The 99s are even some of the same, right? 99 Ronaldo, 99 Neymar. We haven't had a 99 Messi, but we already have one. So maybe that's why that's not happening. We don't have a 99 Neymar, or Mbappe, sorry, but we do have a 98 Mbappe who's in packs right now. Um, you know, we had a Benzema. He had one this year. We've had a Holland in the season pass. Lewandowski, he had one. Rafa Leal. Rafa Leal actually could be getting a card, although he had to make your mark. You know what I'm saying? Vinny. Uh, Vinny footies. No, we didn't have one of those, but he's got a really high rated one. There's the Lucio. Like guys, it's kind of crazy. A lot of the footies cards, and this isn't a common complaint that I've heard so much this year, but it's definitely something that overlaps year over year are the footies cards get reused a lot. Rashford seems familiar, right? He was in the season. Dybala, we had the SBC. Marquisio, objective. Abedi Pele, impacts. Odegaard, maybe we'll get one for him this year, you know? So I'm just clicking through some of the FIFA 23 cards and saying, wow, there's a lot of overlap here. Alawayrin, right? there's the Gabby Jesus, maybe not a bad prediction. Yaya Toure, I literally just finished his SBC. David Alaba, Ginola, right? It's Cordoba, seems pretty familiar. So, you know, I would say that even some of these names in here from last year wouldn't be too far out of the question for cards we could see today in footies team number five. Just be on the lookout for that because EA do love to repeat some of those players, especially because they're some of the bigger names and they do sell packs, right? That's part of it. Now, one leak that we do have, this is, as I'm recording this video, the only real leak that we have at the moment. It is for a Bombazo center back. We've been asking for a center back SBC, right? Well, we had the Bobby Moore, and that was okay, but it wasn't super meta. Now, this leak right here, a lot of people think they know what it is, and you guys probably will figure it out what it is too, based on the hype of the league, is a lot of Bobazos from FIFA Trading Romania. Whenever he tweets a big tweet like this, it's usually a massive player. He's tweeting Italian. There's a C, there's a B, and then there's soon. That to me straight away was Maldini. Like what other player that is an Italian center back is going to get this much hype off of a tweet that is a leak? You know, I'm, I'm just being completely honest. Of course, you've got Nesta, you've got Cannavaro, and even if it's not an icon, you've got maybe a Bastoni. It's possible that those are one of the cards coming out, but you know, he, here, it's either Nesta or Maldini. He's hitting the thumbs up, and the question of when is asked, we'll talk about that in a second, but guys, it's probably going to be Maldini. And of course, if the market, which is always a good indicator on the people who have the leaks, they go and sell their cards, right? And uh, you see the market impact too of leaks happening. 2.2 mil down to 1.7. So bro is down bad. So it's really looking like we're getting a Maldini. Now the question is, what's his rating going to be? When's he going to be released? Now, could he be released today? Yes, that'd be a great Friday SBC. A 98 or a 99 rated. I mean, if Mia Ham's going to be 99 rated, then hopefully Maldini is going to be 99 rated as well. Um, but the one thing about Mia Ham is, remember what day she was released on Saturday. She was not released on a promo Friday. Last week on Friday, we had two SBCs, but one of which was the 
um, who was it? It was the Ginola. And then who's our other one? I forget who we had last Friday um, along with Ginola. But Ginola was last Friday for sure. And we, I think we had somebody else then too. But that was a pretty big SBC. And there was a lot of hype for Ginola. Even though it did seem a little bit expensive, I would imagine that maybe the Icon SBC would come tomorrow on Saturday. Not entirely sure. So my guess is Maldini on Saturday. But I could be wrong, and I would be I would love to be wrong. Like drop a 99 Maldini today, and we would absolutely love that. And that is again absolutely an endgame icon. Like he does have a grade to the game, which is still 1.7. Again, was 2.2 mil on the market. That's a pretty recent card. So it also kind of is a head scratcher. Like, man, this card's only been out for how long? Like, uh, this card's been out since the end of June, early July, and he's gonna get like a 98 or a 99 rated version, but it's a Maldini card. It would be a center back that we would be able to craft and put in our teams and rock through the end of the year. And I don't even think if I've used a Maldini card this year. Like, I know that the base version was really popular and it even had an SBC at one point in January, but I never did that SBC, never used this card that much this year, and I haven't used the Maldini a ton in even previous FIFAs. So that'd be a really big SBC that we could go ahead and craft, and a lot of us would love that endgame center back because we've been getting attackers, 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 and that would be the answer to our question of a meta, crazy meta center back that we could just do, put in our teams, and not have to worry about, and he would be an absolute beast. So we'll be watching out for that. Hopefully, we get some more news on that. Again, in the leaked tweet, FIFA Trading Romania says, wait for the, the timer, right? He's saying, wait for the timer. When we see the Italian center back timer tweet, they'll probably leak it out, right? Kind of tease that. That's when we'll know the Maldini is coming. Maybe it's today. Maybe it's not. We will have to see. Now, here's my other thing, right? We're getting two-player SBCs almost every single Friday. Can we get, you know, we've had so many heroes and so many icons in player SBCs. Can we get some regular players? And I know we had Robertson. Actually, that might have been who was last Friday. Was it Robbo and Ginola? I'm going to double check that, but I think that's who it may have been. We've had Mane. We've had Benega. We've had some, you know, Vodder cards too. Malcolm, Raul Jimenez. We've had plenty of regular footies players, but we haven't had regular footies players that have been as hype as the Ginola or as hype as the Mia Ham or the Eto or the Butragonia or even like the Baggio was really hype, right? Or the Bobby Moore. I think we're, we're ready. We're due for some regular player SBCs from footies. And I hope that we get a really, really good one today as well. I'm talking a 98 or a 99. Now, again, I feel like EA is starting to, to slightly open up a little bit and release more than 99s in the SBCs. Of course, a lot of people have got the 99 Holland now through objectives. So hopefully kind of the uh, the covers are taken off and the, uh, you know, the gates are open a little bit more on some of the ratings, the 98 and the 99 start flowing. I know there's still like a month left of content to be probably released in this game. There's still going to be like, you know, let's be honest, guys, a 99 Neymar. Like last year at the end game, we had the 99 Messi and the 99 Ronaldo SBCs. It's probably still too early for that, to, for us to get a 99 Ronaldo or a 99 Neymar from this year already as my game crashes. Absolutely love that. Just kidding. But like, it's probably still too early for that because those SBCs came out last year in like September, like the first week of September. So it's probably too early to say, oh, wow, we're going to get re-release of footies cards as SBCs. I would be fine if they dropped a 99 Hanson SBC. I think we'd be down for that. Or even if it was like, you know, 99 Pele, or let's see, who else would be a banger? Of course, the Neymar would be absolutely insane. Puteas is 3.6 mil. That would be cold, but I think that's too much to expect right now. All I'm asking for is maybe another icon or a hero, but some good regular player SBCs as well, because that's maybe the next part of footies that we would like to see improved on. Like a 99 rated Hyunmin Sun. Who says no? I would be there. I would absolutely craft that. Give me another Mia Ham level SBC for Hyunmin Sun, and we will be crafting because also, hopefully, tomorrow the 84 times 10 goes from seven times repeatable to unlimited. Fingers crossed for the last week of footies, they better freaking do it. Now, other content to watch today will probably be another 92 plus player pick. All I ask for this one is. Add footies teams five into it and make it a one of four, not a one of three, because we're getting towards that end game. We still haven't seen one of five player picks yet. I'm ready for the one of five, the options that take up the whole entire screen when you're opening it. It's amazing. Kind of like the rivals in the weekend league rewards, right? We love the five picks. Gives us more chances to get something good. I would love for this to go to a one of four today. Would absolutely love it. Or if they increased the rating as well. If they do that, they might make it a little more expensive, 87, 88. But again, even if it's 88, 89, we 
we would be there. We would be able to craft it pretty easy with the 8410s, 8510s, and the like. So that should be refreshing today. That was refreshed last week. I'd expect we get one of those. Now, as I mentioned, two player SBCs is the expectation. Now, if we do get Maldini, then we probably get a regular player. If we get a hero, then we maybe get Maldini with it. I don't know. I would expect two player SBCs today, as I would also expect maybe two Evos. I think last Friday we had Technical Titan. I could be wrong on this one as well, but I think last Friday was Technical Titan, um, and there was two of those released as well. So whatever Evo we get today, I think EA would probably release it twice as well, so that since they're requiring people to play with seven footies players in objectives, they want to give us more options to create footies cards, which, by the way, I didn't mention that in the beginning, but hopefully, I know one of the biggest questions right now in the game is, does this footies count here? Is it for all the footies players? And I would have to imagine that icons, heroes, the evos, and premium and regular footies cards would count. Any sort of pink footies items should count for this. I guess we'll find out today when people start playing champs finals and we'll see what counts for this or what doesn't. So that's one thing to watch out for today. Make sure you have seven in your squad for weekend league if you're going to go ahead and do that, including maybe some of those evolution cards so i would expect a couple of evos today and then also back to objectives as well we have the weekend league objective which is nice but we have two other gameplay objectives that are going away the draft objective goes away as does the silver cup are they going to give us i mean i don't think they give us a bronze cup to be honest but will they give us another cup today maybe they just do a footies cup for the last week of the uh, promo i could see that being a high possibility as well and maybe that's another place where we actually play with our footies cards and General. So make sure you got those footy squads. I would say a full 11 plus a bench ready to go. At least look through your club and maybe finish a couple of Evos if you need to, to help you out with getting a full team of footies players or go and craft a couple of those cheap SBCs today with packs and stuff at the content refresh to make sure you have a full Evo or a full footies team. Sorry. Now we should have our regular refresh of the SBCs today as well. I think that is the 94 plus. Yeah. The 94 plus player picks is going to refresh today, which it did last Friday, which is really, really nice. And then of course, we're going to have the 85 times 10 and the 84 times 10 refresh one last time before tomorrow on Saturday when they hopefully release even more times. And then the last thing is maybe they give us a free pack today because the batch cards that are in packs, like we mentioned, batch three, there's nothing changing there. But what is changing is the footies cards and packs. So hopefully they give us a little extra juice here in the pack section today just for free. 84.20 and 87.5 from the season pass saved up for your boy. And then maybe we'll try to get some more 82 plus picks at content. But of course, after content, it'll be a mad dash. And the servers yesterday were a lot better on a Thursday. Now, I don't know how it's going to be today on Friday, but I have my fingers crossed that the servers do not drop or that the uh, menus are not as laggy as they have been throughout the last week or so because hopefully we're able to just rip packs freely today, hop on the game, enjoy the new SBCs that are out, and not have to worry about any of that because it's way more frustrating, especially at the end of the year when stuff like that is happening on the game. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. We will be live on stream reacting, looking at, and interacting with all of the content as it drops today. I'll leave you with an 81 double. Do we get a special? Nah, we don't. All right, guys. I will see you in the stream today. That link's down below in the description once again. It's been Nathan with Accountant. See you guys there. Peace out.